Newton's second law says the change in an object's motion equals force multiplied by time. That means it depends on how big a force is acting on the object and how long the force acts. There's a trick we've all seen, which isn't really a trick so much as an illustration of the importance of how long a force acts. Now, wait a minute. You're going to pull this tablecloth out from under these nice dishes here? Well, certainly I am. <laughs> that's a pretty good trick. But why am I not seeing dishes laying around on the floor? Well, Larry, that's really quite simple. If I apply a small force to the tablecloth, just pulling slowly, you'll see the china move. That's because of the force of friction, a relatively small force between the tablecloth and the china. I pull the tablecloth, the tablecloth pulls the china. But if I apply a big force to the tablecloth, pulling very hard, the force of friction is no bigger than before. That means the force I apply to the tablecloth is very big compared to the force of friction, and it doesn't leave friction much time to act. That's why a hard, fast pull on the tablecloth can move it right out from under the china without breaking anything. Would you like to see it again? It's a good trick. But kids, I don't think you should try this one at home.